Hey everybody, I'm just let me this down here. Let me go, let me turn. I'm sitting on a fucking couch here. Okay, so Damn. Today I'm gonna talk about video games. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this guy called Teddy Rubskin. But he's like a can I zoom in? No, I can't. Okay, well, this is Teddy Rubskin on, and uh, he's a total nostalgic fanboy, and I kind of am too, you know? I don't, I don't like TV that much. I mean, you know, there's some good shows, like Breaking Bad, Doctor Who, shows are awesome. But I like nostalgic things, you know? I listen to classic rock, and I'm, I mainly just mis listen to music in my free time. It's, what else do I do? I do mess around on the computer a lot, so I guess that kind of kills the nostalgia of it, but uh, I just like nostalgic things, like video games. Video games are awesome. This is what he's talking about, is video games, and I totally agree with a lot of his opinions. That's why I watch his videos. And, uh, yeah, the Sega Genesis. I've never played a Sega Genesis. I've always wanted to. That's been, like, my uh, life dream to play a Sega Genesis, but I played a lot of Nintendo. I played a Super Nintendo like once or twice and then it was not too long ago actually. Well, 12 years ago I played uh, a lot of Nintendo 64. I thought that system was awesome, you know? And I, I didn't even know what Sega was back then, so I thought it was the only game system and it was awesome. But I guess if you considered the Nintendo, if you put the Nintendo 64 over the Sega Genesis, um, oh, fuck, what's it called? It's like right on the, uh, I can't remember what the hell it's called. I I had it like an hour ago. But it's the one that takes the CDs. You know, I thought that was a pretty cool version of the Sega when I heard about it, which I heard about that like five years ago. A little late. And, yeah, I played a lot of Nintendo 64. I had a Nintendo 64 at my house, and we had one at the daycare I went to. Because I was, like, you know, four. Daycare. Woo. And I played Nintendo 64 almost all the time. I played all kinds of games. I played, uh, Kirby, Mario, some other kind of games where you have to, like, beat a boss or something. And I played Star Fox 64. You cannot own a Nintendo and never played a single Star Fox game. You know, Star Fox is freaking awesome. It's the best fucking game ever. You know, it's awesome. And the thing I liked about it is, is high, in video games today, there's a very high demand for good quality 3D graphics. Like, you know, if it doesn't look like a real person, oh, I don't, I don't like the game. Fuck that game. It sucks. But that's like one of the... One of the first 3D games was Star Fox 64, and uh, <clears throat> I thought the graphics were pretty decent. Like, you know, the planes, or the ships, or whatever the hell they were, looked kind of wonky. Like, you know, they didn't look right, but they were 3D, and that's what I liked about them, and it looked cool. And you got two views of the ship. You know, you didn't have to keep pushing buttons or rotating the fucking camera to get a different view of the ship. You could just look at a different part of the screen, and I liked that. That was pretty cool. I mean, that's still pretty cool to me. But, one thing I could never figure out about the Nintendo 64 was the controller. I always had a problem with the freaking controller. I figured it out eventually, but in the beginning, I'm like, what the fuck do all these buttons do? What's, what's this thing? I was looking at the joystick, and I could never... I didn't find out what the joystick was until I was seven. I'd been playing Nintendo 64 for, like, three years at that point, and I didn't even know that thing was a freaking joystick. Yeah, I didn't know it was a joystick. I thought it was like a antenna or something. I don't know. I thought it was something. I was four, and then I turned six, and then I stopped playing that, and I played PlayStation when I turned six. But I'll go into that later. I'm talking about controllers now. Now, going back a couple of years, like back to when video games first came out, Everyone liked the Super Nintendo controller because you had four buttons, and they were pretty simple, and then you had the, the, the thing where you jumped up and down and moved or whatever, <coughs> and um, it was pretty cool, but it looked kind of dumb. It looked... Mm. 
I thought Sega Genesis was like uh, Apple and Super Nintendo was Windows, you know? They, they were both superior in their own way. Sega Genesis was superior in its blast processing, which is a real thing. You know, it is. It's 7.6 megahertz. So it was processor ran it, and the Super Nintendo ran it 3.6. And, you know, that's like twice, that's more, that's more than twice the processing power of the Sega Genesis. That's why you never got a slowdown. We call that a lag today. But they called it a slowdown back then. Because that's what happened. You, you slowed down. And, um, it was true, you know? I've watched some videos of Sega Genesis pl sen ugh. <laughs> I've watched videos of people playing Sega Genesis. And uh they don't seem to lag a lot, but Super Nintendo it's like you jump and you're going really fast and you like slow down or something like it's a fucking superpower and people go, "Oh, do you got a superpower? That that looks cool. That's awesome." Well, no, it makes it fucking hard as hell to play. When it slows down and it lags, it gets really hard to play. So, yeah, but the Sega Genesis controller was, um, it was three buttons, and it had the thing, whatever you call that, and it looked cooler, it looked more high-tech, and it did just about the same amount of stuff, but the Sega Genesis controller is upgradable. It was, you get the standard controller, which is the three buttons and the other thing, and then you get the one which is still simple controls, but it's got six buttons. And I think it had, I don't know if it had clickers in the top, I hadn't seen one of those controllers in years. <clears throat> and then there was this one that was like the luxury, the most luxurious controller. It had a thing like an arcade joystick on it, and then it still had those six buttons and like equalizer. It looked like it had like fucking sound equalizer shit in the middle, I don't know. And uh, Nintendo controllers didn't have that. They didn't have a lot of that. They like had one upgrade for the... Super Nintendo Advanced, or whatever the fuck they call it. And it was like, uh... It's like having a fucking keyboard with a joystick sit in your lap. It just had way too much shit on it. And it was all it was all labeled in colors. I don't like everything labeled in colors. Oh my god, how do I jump? How do I jump? I'll push yellow. No, 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 oh, I'm sorry, blue! You know? I like, um... Shapes, letters, whatever, but colors just seems a little preschool. You know? So then controllers started getting good when Sony was making game systems.